I'm really glad Scott shears at me. On one of the nights that I don't do the dishes, I take a karate class. My sister Roxanne teaches it. I like to learn karate because, um, see, before when I was little, they used to push me around, and now I don't let them push me around. <laughs> Who's them? Um, some boys. Do boys tend to push girls around a lot? I always kick him or punch him. Before Bill helped us learn karate, we decided that only women should come because we thought that women were the ones who usually were the ones who got raped and not men. So we just decided just women so they could learn to defend themselves. One. Okay, that was good, Carmen, but let me show you one thing. You want to hit with these two knuckles here. Now, the, uh, this hand is the weak one. Try that. Good. Okay, uh, has everybody made a knife hand before? Good. One, two. Exhale, Carmen. One, two. Good. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. We know you can break it. We all broke boards the last time. You shouldn't feel bad. It didn't work just because of all the distractions. You know, and you saw that with me. You saw that, like, I didn't do it either. Because we usually get up and we're ready to tackle right. the world. Right. Don't feel bad. We'll save this board for you next time. And you'll okay. quick him, too. You know when you break this board, you're bad. <laughs> so, uh, next week, we'll, uh, bad. you'll be bad. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be bad. You know you, you got over this board. So you go put this under your pillow. <laughs> you will good. <laughs> okay, how about if we go over the kata? Okay? Cheer up, sis. I hate practice. I hate going down. The second I get on the court or go through the curtain, I become obnoxious again. I guess it's an act, but I don't realize it's an act. My life has been that way. One on one, let's go. Come on. Play up. Now let's get some hard work. Play up. Work on what you can do, not what you can do for change. Give him a little more trouble, Greg. Can we be, can we be this bad, Hank? Is it possible to be this bad? Fellas, is it possible? I can't see it. How can we be this bad? It says everybody makes little mistakes. We don't need him. Jimmy could break his leg tomorrow. You think it's going to hurt us? Not if you do what we say. Won't hurt us at all. What, is the record going to be then 13 and 2 instead of 15 and 0? Or maybe the record will still be 15 and 0. But for me to continue with this is being an idiot. An absolute idiot, fellas. It's wacky. You're numb to abuse. You can't abuse you, you're numb to it. You've all got your own way. You don't know how to cut. You don't, once you don't get the ball, you die. There's one guy jumping on the whole team, that's Larry McNeil, because it's probably his wife is not telling him enough yet. When his wife starts telling him, hey, uh, Larry, you've got to get money. Forget the rest of the team. Fellas, we took care of every guy in this team since we came here. You take care of by winning, and everybody goes uptown together. Whatever I'm going to be is what I'm going to be. If I get the job, then I'll have some money. 
and when if I get a job, then I'll have to keep that job. You know, I have to support myself, but I don't even know what I'll be. Mommy thinks everybody should get married, and I don't want to because you have to do everything and cook and do it. I've been working for Continental for 27 years. They keep combining jobs and... Well, I really don't know if I'm going to have a job in another two years. I, I, I told some guys we should uh, extend it till June and go on uh, strike for June, July, and August. Over what? They'll be combining jobs and everything. I won't be able to keep up a mad pace like that. Who's going to keep up the mad pace? A guy between the ages of 18 and 25, and after he's wore out, they'll kick him out. Well, you're going to strike a long day. The way I understand it, the company uh, just called off everything. Oh, the company wants you to strike. I don't want you to go. What are we going to use for food? You're going to use for money. <laughs> We're going to garbage like the bums do. This always happens. I think we're going to have a rough time now. I worked in hospitals since I was 13 years old. I had forged working papers in Boston, and I worked for 50 cents an hour. And I've always been a worker who happened to be a student. I'm now, you know, a, a doctor, big deal. I enjoy my work. That's why I do it. I really like it. Uh, it wasn't any kind of upward mobility or upper class aspirations. And in the process between the Army, between being in clinics with people, seeing things come down on people, uh, seeing racism and sexism and all the other isms in actual true color, three dimensions, it changed my perspective. I mean, the contact with the people and with the conditions that people live under changed my perspective. And I frankly just prefer to be a fighter. I don't, uh, I'm not up upperly mobile. I'm going to stay working with communities like we work with at Cook County because those communities are rich. There's so much undeveloped talent out there in the community that if it was given a chance, you know, to struggle in a direction, could, could really come a long ways. I, I don't ascribe to Jensen and all the other people, you know, with their racist theories that these people are really genetically inferior. And yet I'm confronted with the, the contradiction of the disease and uh, prison records. are so rampant in the community we serve. Why? Is it genetics or is it, is it conditions? And it's conditions, and I intend to fight those conditions. If you're a doctor, you have to get to the roots of disease. And the roots of the disease are the system that, that, that we live under, and that, that system has got to change.